This week on This Is Ruth Yole, a delicious fruit trifle. My tips for the new year is just so much to be expectant of, you know, in this new year. So being optimistic, believing that things are going to work out, you know, and fashion aspirations. Welcome to my world. Hi guys, welcome to This Is Ruth Yole after a long break. We took a holiday break, you know, to rejuvenate, to freshen up to rest you know content creation is a no joke and also to spend time with family and loved ones so karibuni sana to our first episode of 2022 yay and i'm so excited that you're joining me again if you're new to this channel karibu sana make sure you subscribe and tap on the notification bell to get notified when i upload new videos please do not mind my christmas lights i am still in the festive mood <laughs> but i'll get them off so yeah anyways guys so today we're making a wonderful dessert it's i think one of the easiest desserts i've ever shared we're making a trifle and it's so pretty so let's get to it you'll need a handful of grapes a handful of plums deseeded 200 grams of cake two cups of whipped cream frosting one tablespoon of sugar and one cup of water for the equipment a sulfuria and three tumblers in a sulfuria, add the grapes and plums, add sugar and water. Cook the fruits for two minutes. The syrup formed should be rich in color. Cut the cake into small cubes. In one tumbler, add the cake, whipped cream frosting, syrup, and fruits. Add more cake, whipped cream frosting, syrup, and fruit and repeat the process. Do the same for the remaining two tumblers. Serve in room temperature or chill. Enjoy! So our trifle is ready and guys it smells so good and tastes so good. When you try this recipe, please let me know. You, you've got to try this recipe. And comment down below. I'd like to know how it goes. And also you can send me photos or videos on Facebook and Instagram. And this is Ruth Yole. Next, fashion aspirations for the new year make sure you subscribe welcome to today's fashion segment and today i'm going to be talking about fashion goals for the new year uh, or what i would love to see in the fashion world for this new year so number one i love i love that we are embracing our african culture in runways and i'd like to see more of that and more of african representation and just wearing our clothes and very proudly and owning our culture we have a beautiful colorful rich culture and i would really love to see more of that this year so in red carpets on runways and you know just proudly owning our africanness so number two i'm looking forward to just seeing how people are going to interpret fashion this year just how people are going to dress and new trends that are going to come up you know it's it's just amazing how how clothes make you so beautiful and confident and i'm looking forward to that and people just wearing their clothes um there's a lot of um personality so i'm looking forward to personality and expression this year and number three i'm also looking forward to less waste you know uh in this industry we need to also be very conscious so 
more less waste you know conserving the environment and also generosity you know just if you're not wearing something and if probably doesn't have ma- you know a lot of sentimental value just looking forward to seeing just more generosity and more giving on the side of fashion so i believe that this year is going to be a very exciting year i'm very hopeful and also for artistic you know expressions i'm really looking forward to how people are going to express themselves in fashion this year so i'm excited i believe it's going to be a wonderful year for fashion finally my tips for the new year so it's a new year and i'm super excited i hope you are pumped as well and today i'm just going to be sharing some tips and some not resolutions really but what i have decided to do in this new year attitude mindset it is a so number one i have decided to be present in this new year and savoring every moment of this year you know i, I think i'm learning that you know time lost can never be recovered and life really is really a step at a time so this year is a step at a time by god's grace so living a day at a time being in pr- in the present moment uh celebrating life you know being very conscious about what is happening around me and being thankful you know for for that moment and even through tough moments just going through it and believing that that too will pass so being present is priority for me this year and just savoring the moment and making the most of the moment number two this year we are taking risks this year i am determined to trust more (laughs) and risk more and um because you have one life you know you realize as you grow older that life is about taking risks is about you never a hundred percent sure you know you have to take risks so we're taking risks this year and i think for me more business center just also more opportunities so i'm just hoping that this year is just going to be a year of courage you know and as joshua 1 9 says be strong and courageous so we are putting that into practice this year for me personally that's what i would like to do just be more courageous take take more risk and really for me even in life i'd like i wouldn't like to regret you know I, i pray as much as possible to make right decisions and in as much as i'm not perfect to make conscious right decisions as much as i can and take the risk as much as i can number three this year we are giving our all by god's grace um i'm intentional about that you know and i hope you are as well about just giving your all you know you have one life and you know realizing that life our life on earth is numbered like we won't be here forever so just give your all love hard you know work hard um be just be just give your all in everything you're going to do this year and for me i choose to be intentional and just give my all and also that comes down to also prioritizing is like what are you going to do this year like having set goals it's like being intentional about what you're going to do this year so that you can also give your all you know being wise with your time and give your all so that is what i'm going to do for this year by god's grace again give my all this year then number four of course faith and positivity and optimism is essential in life you have to believe that things are going to work out for you You have to have faith the fact that you're breathing the fact that you're alive means that god is not yet done with us and that there's just so much to be expectant of you know in this new year so being optimistic believing that things are going to work out you know and being uh, have been having a positive attitude that even during tough times that all things work for good you know that it's not in vain that we go through tough times that it is for our good and also, also having faith in god because without god there's nothing we can do you know but with faith with god all things are possible so having faith that god is going to carry us through this year and give us so much success and just give us give us the desires of our heart i i, I feel like also being optimistic and having faith just adds life to you you know there's just that strength that hope brings us and i'm excited about this year and i'm excited about being hopeful having faith and being optimistic 
and also number five appreciating life being grateful you know and that thing about um just being grateful listing 10 things for instance you're grateful for in the morning and 10 things in the evening five you know you can start with five you can start with 10 you know and you realize how big you're blessed and how abundant life is and for me saying thank you has really changed my outlook on life i realized oh my goodness i'm so blessed and i'm where i'm 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 there's some, some things maybe i mean yes i may not have maybe everything i thought you know or, or i really wanted but also i'm so blessed i'm so abundantly blessed you know and counting your blessings and naming them one by one so for this year also i'm intentional about being grateful about counting my blessings about um just saying thank you you know being grateful and even f to people telling people thank you you know and just even thanking god you know even 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 when bad things happen knowing that they happen for a reason so this year more on gratitude more on just being thankful and joy you know i also choose to be very happy this year by god's grace and you know just joy that also even in tough times that joy carries us through the joy of the lord is our strength so those are my five resolutions or can i say tips uh or let's say behavioral mindset um goals <laughs> that makes sense so those are five things i really am intentional about doing this year let me know comment down below let me know what resonates with you and what you'll be doing this year i'm excited i hope you're excited thank you so much for watching today's show when you try the recipe please let me know comment down below i'd like to know how it went also you can share photos and videos on facebook and instagram at this is ruth yole also let me know what you think about fashion and your tips stroke resolutions for this year we are together in this 2022 will be a great year we have a lot of hope and a lot of faith that things are going to go well if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe tap on the notification bell to get notified when i upload new videos until next time bye mm.